Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the Group O Round 1 match between Fez and his Imperial Nobility and Gorgo Bay and his Dark Elves. Lovely purple Dark Elves, look very nice, I quite like this colour scheme. Um, to give you some background on the coaches, Fez is British, qualified via the Troll Bowl World Championship Qualifier, so I feel like he could be a console coach. Not sure. Gorgo Bay is Canadian and qualified via the Goblin Blood Bowl 3 World Championship qualifier. So there you go. Um, I think he could all, I think this I think these could both be PlayStation coaches. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. That that was that was a thing on the spreadsheet and now it's been taken away, so I, I just don't know. Um, so Dark Elves pretty standard for Blodge Blitzers. A Wrestle Witch Elf. A Dodge Assassin. Oh, this is the Christopher Bengston build. Quite like this. Three rerolls and an apple. I quite like this, yeah. I actually quite like this build, yeah. This is the Christopher B build. Basically, it gets you a third. Rather than having like an unskilled positional, it gets you it gets you all skilled positionals. And it gets you the third reroll as well. So I really do like this build. Very much. Um, yep. I think a Dodge Assassin is actually quite good. Oh, it shows you next to the name. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Thank you very much. Of course it does. Yep. And then Fez with his Imperial Nobility here. Um, this actually looks pretty decent, doesn't it? He's got some He's got some customizations there. Block Ogre. Uh, four Guard, of course. I think nearly everybody's gone Four Guard. Two Blodge, like that. A, a Leader thrower and a block thrower uh, 13 players three rerolls and he's just rolled a blitz flip me this looks like it was going to be a dacker apart from these guys are based right so it's must it was probably just going to be like a weird mill around dacker without actually dackering drive which i don't really like to be honest i don't really like that i would rather just commit to the dacker or commit to the fight, and he is going for the uh, AV7 player here. Doesn't hurt him. Been instructed to zoom in more, but you know, I, I like seeing as much of the field as possible, so let's stick with this. Mrs. Fez, hello, Mrs. Fez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oof. Instant removal. Brilliant, brilliant Imperial ability there. Use their blitz to base people, give up the block, get banged out. Um yeah, th this is this is the like they've got the trouble that um, flesh golems have times 10 right because flesh golems have stand firm and they've got strength 4 and they take guard and you know they're like they want to go into annoying places and get punched and they've got wrestlers well. so they're like they're great players are getting punched the problem is, they're not great players are getting knocked over because <laughs> they're only armor eight. Well, armor nine plus these days, which is the you know what um, the pro that's the problem that like wraiths have right wraiths with the foul appearance and the sidestep and guard. They're incredible at getting punched. Well, at being at you not wanting to hit them and getting in really awkward places, but they're terrible when they get knocked down. They're so easy to remove. So yeah, they, they've got the kind of bad thing of both of those in the uh, oh this is an interesting uh, fail here he could use the reroll because he's got three right I could never reroll this with only two rerolls but um, he has got the freedom to reroll that does not reroll it doesn't have a surf threat either unfortunately like he did this base and didn't go for the blockless block elected to go for the pickup first um, so you know but there's no payback to that for him. oh he gets the pow and the dodger. This was the problem with blitzing with the assassin. I don't didn't really like that blitz with the assassin. I'd have just dodged away with him. Um, you know, I, stabbing to get blocked back is a very bad deal, right? Just dodging away, I think, was better. 
Apple comes out. Apple better, better than a reserve probably this game already. Because there's no overtime. In in the in the you know, in one of the playoff games there's overtime. So in, in one of the playoff games, I think the reserve is definitely better. But you might not you know, whoever wins this tournament might might do so without ever playing overtime. So maybe I put too much value on that factoring into my decisions, but I went for the most solid. Solid against being completely diced out to you, which was the twelfth player, so it definitely works and uh, gives me a bit of freedom to foul. This pro important point here, go, go, bay, just can't foul, right, with 11 players. Even against dancers and stuff, he can't really foul them. And uh, yeah, with Arpo, I mean, he did get the perfect chance to use it on a KO on turn two, or turn one even, because of the blitz. So he got the perfect time to use the Apo, but, you know, not every game you do, and sometimes you don't get to use it, so having a, having a reserve is quite good. Yes, exactly, Seabros. Yeah, that, that blitz was not good. That blitz was not a good blitz at all from Gorgo Bay. Absolutely not. It's a good tool to have in your in your arsenal, the uh, the assassin, dodge assassin, but it's not, you know, you can't just use it mindlessly <laughs> like that. And that sounds harsh than I meant it to, but you, do you know what I mean? Like, you've got to, you've got to really think about him getting punched back and everything. This confident he's English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly, C Bros, yeah. And you've only got two, right? You've only got two. Like that so one of the good things about this build is you do only have the two, like if you went like, you know, this the Mankiz build of uh four blitzers and two witches, you know, you've got two A V sevens and like that's what I do in progression. So by having this build, you do only have the two weak links, and you can protect them very well. In this build, he's got two sea balls. And a Venger bus, yep, yep, yep. Knobs OP, hello, Dimmy. He's only got one witch, yeah, he's gone for this, he's gone for the uh, Christopher B build, which is the third reroll. You know like how I did the third reroll that had the runner, but still had two witches? And then Christopher B said, well, you know, runner's rubbish. An assassin, it, it dodge assassin is actually quite good, so why not drop the second witch, so you've got the wrestle witch, which is like the good witch anyway, right? And then, um, and then you've got the full solidity of the four blodgers. So I quite like this. I quite like this build. But <laughs> well, there you go. This was one of my. This was one of my possible sea brothers for my uh, for my four teams. My four teams that I was thinking about. This was one of them. And this, uh, and then, uh, oh wow, he took skull there. You were right, he did use all of his powers. Instantly, uh, dub skulls. This is, isn't looking great for the elves, is it? Like, do you know what? The All World Alliance and the uh, Imperial Nobility matches are really weird to me because I still think they're rubbish. <laughs> Right, like underneath or the underneath the skill package, I still think they're like inherently not a great team. Rubbish is, was a bit too strong. I think they're inherently not a great team. They're basically like worse humans, right? Both both Imperial Nobility and or World Alliance are essentially like bad humans in this environment, but they get more skills than humans to make up for it. But um, the problem is versus elves. If you're elves against them. They're basically just the same, right? They're, like, they're still, you, they still cause you all the same problems that like good teams cause you. So then they're, they're not like you don't get an easy win against them. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if you were like Necro, for example, you should just get like an easy win against them, or Orcs, or. But you know, any agility or like lizard men, but any like agility team, all of a sudden. 
they're just like any other bash team really and you can get yourself in at trouble just the same as you could against any other bash team so he blitzes back to them I mean he's definitely going to move the ball over this side isn't he over here he's going to punch him and he's going to hope he can do something over here Yeah, like the skills are fine, like, and they, they get more skills as well, don't they? Like, the block over can high roll you. Loads of guard can be annoying. And like, humans are annoying team for elves, right? So like... They are kind of an annoying team to face as elves. Because their weaknesses aren't so weak versus elves. This is a, a place to stand. He really is standing there. Wow. That is not what I would have done. Because you've got no guard. You can't make this better than just a 5 plus he gets the ball off you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using your opponent's guard player, like a guard player as a cage corner is a great idea. Using your opponent's guard player as the cage corner, not as good. Just a stun. That kill is huge though, isn't it? I mean, honestly, I I don't I I don't hate just going for this one dice here. This is this is just a free five plus, isn't it? To be in a great spot is the way I look at it. Just play a play a normal turn and then have a, a free five plus free five plus shot at being in a not a hugely dominant position, but putting him in a big pickle, right? Four run bad. What a legend. Thank you very much for the massive raid. We've got Fez versus Golgo Bay. Golgo Bay with the Dark Elves. So that's who I'm cheering on. Sorry, Mrs. Fez. <laughs> I'm not really cheering on, of course. I'm completely, completely uh, whatever the word is for impartial. There we go. Completely impartial, but you know. <laughs> It's funny to wind up Dimmy a bit, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, really, it wasn't really a 5 plus to put him in a load of trouble, was it? It was a 6 plus to put him in a load of trouble. Because if you power him, then he's in, you've got two guards sandwiching there, and then you're moving him around as well. But as it is, this is still pretty decent. Oh. He kind of had to dodge, didn't he? Otherwise, he's just getting... Otherwise, he's just getting stabbed. I thought he had a free player that he could have run around, no? It's not even worth tagging him, is it? Yeah, tag one without dodge. There we go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Stab is not better. It's arguably worse depending on whether you believed the things that the guy who wrote the rules said. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's basically essentially the same. But it's quite it's quite good in NAF style because you just end up with points spare. So you're just changing a, a uh, Dark Elf Lyman for a Wood Elf Lyman, basically, right? 
Oh, he didn't have another player there, so this this player should have been here, right? Here or here, so he could have got an extra. He could have got the stab as well, I think. Oh, gets a removal, huge, and catches the ball. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, that's a bit unlucky for Fez. And now he can actually, well, in fact, now he can do the stab right. But yeah, I think a slight misplay by Gogo Bay. He, could, he should have had the blitzer here or here, depending on where he could have got. And then he could have pushed him up into the stab if he had to. So yeah, this was a good stab because if you fail, you can then block him with the other one, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you just need this witch. <laughs> you just need a witch that, that KOs the ball carrier and then catches it. Funnily enough, which is what mine nearly did, didn't it? Mine uh, puts the ball and caught it. Get the lockdown to free this guy up for free. Free him for free. It's turn four, so he's got plenty of time. Two stunned as well, oh wow, two stun guards, two KOs, I'd have definitely dodged this guy out as well, right, just, uh, just, uh, just to try and make things stronger, maybe keep the ogre off your back a bit more. Ah, Call Troop, thank you very much for the raid, welcome Call Troop viewers, the legend of the Season 2 Finals. This is very, this is very tough for Fez now. It's funny because it looked really bad for Go Go Bear like literally a couple of turns ago. And then somehow, you know, two stuns and a removal later and tough. The Dells look completely in control. They could push down either flank, really. Just uh, so many options, so easy. Those two, two stuns are absolutely critical. You can just get past them. Whichever way he goes, he gets past one. Well, maybe he wouldn't get past this if he went left, right? But he would he would leave the other one miles behind, and if he goes up this way, he gets past this one and leaves him miles behind. So that that makes this side look better in terms of blockers. Are they blockers? Bodyguards. The bodyguard. Now he should have just moved the ball first, right? Quad skulls here, and uh, the balls explode. So I think move the ball up before you make that blitz. So you just got it up there. Did go for the block. He could have tried the three two to uh come around and get another player active. Doesn't seem that good, does it? And yeah, I like the two here, and then block this guy, and then two plus this guy. I think that looks really nice. Uh, I would have, I would, I would have blocked with this guy, but it doesn't make much difference. I don't know why I would have done. And I would have definitely dodged the other one. And anyway, I'd have still dodged and got somebody out of there. Two plus, isn't it? Now they're both probably going to get knocked over. I guess he could have failed. But he's still got two re I guess you wouldn't have re-rolled it. But it would have been quite nice, I think, to have two plus this guy out to here. Or even here. Then he would have kept this guy under control. 
like there and then you'd be screening with this guy and with this guy and with this guy so yeah maybe maybe up to here would have been really good but you know he's eating activations punching him anyway so I guess the thing is the ogre could block this guy and then he could two he could three plus through there to try and get in the way Oh, block on the ogre coming in clutch. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? Is he just going to one dice the ball? Nope, he's just going to one dice this blitzer and skull. And now the elves are probably gone and safe, right? Probably gone and safe. I mean, he's, he, he should try and, you know, make this as safe as possible, of course. With, you know, uses blitz and stuff, but this looks... You know, he'd be unlucky to not score at this point, definitely. First thing he should have done, in my opinion, <laughs> was move the ball up. Wow, that's amazing. That's the right square, and I just, I just didn't count them at all. But that was indeed the absolute correct square. Yeah. Well, the problem is uh, clockwork. If you can't, <laughs> why are you playing knobs, right? Like, I'm not being funny. Like, do you know what I mean? You've cho like, Fez here has chosen to use Imperial Nobility instead of Wood Elves, instead of Lizard Men, instead of Undead, instead of Dark Elves, instead of Orcs, you know? So, I mean, I agree. I agree, Clockwork. I agree. I don't. I don't agree with the people who've taken them. Not as cool as Mr. Page. Mr. Page is the coolest with his black orcs. <laughs> I mean, I would like to speak to these people to know if they, like, thought it was the best chance or if they did it for a laugh, because... To my mind, you should be taking the thing that you think is the best. So then, if you think this is the best, why do you think it's the best? <laughs> because I don't think they're the best. So I'd like to know why they think it's the best. I'm not, I'm like, you know, I'm not, I'm not being nasty or anything. I would just like to know why people think this is the best race. Or, and then if they don't think it's the best race, then then why haven't you taken the thing that you think's the best race, right? He <laughs> switched off. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm imagining because the package is good, right? You know, he probably probably likes a big package, which is which is fair enough. They get more skills than the other than the other teams. But you know, this made me consider Old World Alliance in the Euro Bowl rules, or in the in the last season's World Cup. In the last season's World Cup, I considered Old World Alliance. And uh, and then you know just because they got so many skills, and then I realised, but they'd still be all world alliance. So I changed my mind. Yeah, if his team plays death, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> oh, vampires, but yeah, they don't exist on Blood Bowl 3. Yeah. Yeah, people who want to play vampires are out of luck for now. Hopefully they'll be uh, added relatively soon. Okay, well, I mean, this is like probably 4-1 in 36s, isn't it, here? All pretty critical. Um, not a lot of getting away with this, actually. Well, probably two critical 1 in 36s, eh? Probably two critical 1 in 36s. Sorry, three three critical ones and then a fourth one that's icing on the cake. But um, I don't like the way he's done this immediately. Yeah, Zons are... Well, the Blitz isn't good, right? The Blitz isn't good with the two dodges and the Blitz because you're not stopping the ball carrier Blitz by base by two. One's Wrestle and Stand Firm, so you can't really Blitz this guy. I guess you could have blitzed this guy, except they've got guards, so you've got to do three dodges at the end of the day. It does get the pow. And the removal. But you know, the first dodge fails, he's in a lot of trouble. Second one fails, and then if the ball carrier fails, he's also, so it's, it's three critical one in 36s. And then now, the fourth one isn't as critical. He can fail this and not lose. But it was it was three three critical one in thirty sixes. I know a guy who only made one critical one in thirty six in each half and failed them both. Just saying. <laughs> You're confident we're seeing Norse Zons. The, the, so the thing is on on um, yeah on like lead times. Corner the favourite, right? Corner the favourite because they came out of the order the teams were released for tabletop. It's corn. So that to me seems the most likely. Yeah, that's that's really bad with a wrestle. I hate that. I absolutely hate that, Punter. I absolutely hate that because because of the one in thirty six. And then if you don't power him and he doesn't fend, then you've got to make one and you don't and then you've got to make another one in thirty six as well. I mean I guess it is a one in eighty one, isn't it? The one in like it's not a one in nine, it's a one in eighty one, but still. Yeah, corn is red, so perfect for Christmas, yeah. And they've got goats, like, you know, for Krampus. <laughs> or or, uh, or reindeers, so yeah. Oh my god. Honestly, reindeer, how good would reindeer customizations for Chaos be for Christmas? That would be incredible. <laughs> corn is green, black and yellow, of course it is. Of course it is, Timmy. Of course it is. There you go, he just scores. He just scores with a wave of the hand. No no uh no touchdown dancing for him. Yeah, he should have attempted to stab. Yeah, he didn't stab. I think maybe he's not a Dark Elf main, right? Because the way he lies the assassin there on turn two or something. Oh, I like the team names. Blodger, Dodger, Roger. <laughs> and then Lino. <laughs> Very imaginative. Hello. Right. Oh, he's got the default cheerleaders. Sad. I've got the lizard man cheerleaders. I quite like the lizard man cheerleaders. The problem is they're just not the halfling ones, right? The halfling cheerleaders are like god tier. So he's got a movement seven dodger. 
So the one turn isn't horrendous, but and he's got to he's got to throw it to get in the ball. Although it's not a good thrower, he's got a pass, running pass Glorious. and pass. No, I won't give so he has got to throw it to get in the ball, I'm and he's got a movement seven dodger to try and I will him, defend. So. I will defend. He should try this. Eight months, baby. Hargrim, thank you very much. Two full beaver princes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, good spring. Yeah. GW should officially bring back Slan. I think they won't because so I you know, people cite this alleged legal battle between um Galax Starscraper, Tom Anders and Games Workshop. But I haven't seen any evidence of that. The th the, the thing that stops it dead is as that Arctic Antarctic wind says, it's the law, right? It's the fact that that Slan have been completely retconned out of the Warhammer continuity and uh, I just find it hard to believe that it's uh, you know like young Slan jumping around I, I don't know I just don't think they'll I just don't think they'll uh, ever bother with opening that can of worms again Yeah, yeah, because now this is Slan, yeah. These guys don't have leap to it. Like, this is the Games Workshop IP, right? They care about their IP. That's why they rebranded all the paints and stuff to crazy names. So, it does have a Slan coach, and then this is just the default coach. So, yeah, bit bit tragic that Go Go Bear has the uh, default coach and default cheerleaders, because I think it's a nice shade of purple he's gone for. Very purpley dark elves, but um, the slam coach and the lizard cheerleaders are better. Has he got lizard? No, he's got undead um, side things. Oh, with the halfling one. I tend to go halfling side things now because you know it's just better isn't it why would you have spikes and death things when you can just have like sausage rolls and stuff so all of my teams tend to go with a halfling sideline stuff now i like the theme of kislev but the problem was like the mutations they just didn't have right like they they didn't have very long legs and stuff and I think I get that they, you know, they had the skills and that, but uh, Kislev were pretty cool, yeah. I thought they might have added Kislev, you know, with Total Warhammer um, doing so well. That kind of made sense, right? And yet, they're the two Chaos teams. I mean, that's the thing, you would have thought they could have added Kislev or the two Chaos teams, and they just, they just pulled gnomes out of nowhere, didn't they? So... <laughs> So who knows? And the Blood Bowl world universe is not the same as the Warhammer the universe. I mean, that is absolutely true, Ginger Badger. But it's still Games Workshop care the most about their IP, and then I don't think they're going to have something that runs contrary to old world IP. I just don't think they will, even though it's technically not in the same world and stuff, you know. Yeah, the gnomes are really weird. Like there's no there's no chainsaws in uh in Warhammer, right? So one nil down, Fez, he can still just grind this out, right? It it's it's one nil down, he can get this draw. He can't, he can't try to win because he's against elves, so if he tries to win he'll just lose. But he can try to get the draw here. Um, completely reasonable for him to get a draw at this point. Still eleven versus eleven, so it's gonna be tough, you know, defending. Elves defending with 11 players are a tough nut to crack, but he might get some removals. It does activate the Ogre. I mean, it makes sense, right? You've got Block, you've got Mighty Blow. And I guess that's why he waited to move the ball, because he was like, you know, waiting to see if, uh, see where's going to be safe. It was a little bit risky activating the Ogre. 
Wow, this is a <laughs> this is a tragic <laughs> tragic LOS. And he finally gets the power. A navy break. Only a stun, but still better than nothing, isn't it? I wonder if, yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if one to the right is better, and that's exactly what he thought. He put in there and thought, wait a second, one to the right is a little bit better, because he's just got a double dodge in the front, hasn't he? And he's got a double dodge in the side as well. So, yeah. Kaz caring about the fluff, yeah. I mean, chainsaws could fit in, but they don't exist in Warhammer, do they? They just don't. And it is an alternate Warhammer world thing. Like, I thought it was better when it was like, you know, second edition. And there was like a Moracle, a Morica and stuff. Like it was literally Nuffle, a Moracle football, right? That's where enough comes from. Um, and like, they basically, dwarves were fighting orcs and they discovered a American football pitch and then found out the rules of the game and stuff and then warped it into Blood Bowl. That was the original thing. But it was like, you know, because it was made by Games Workshop, it had the models and the IP that they had. And now, when when Third Ed came out, they went with all the war dancers and everything, you know, and gutter runners and warhammered it up, which makes total sense to them as a company, right? So I don't think they're going to go back into having slam that you know go against Warhammer after they've Warhammered it up. I don't think they'll they'll go back to second head style. Rolls one. Maybe he didn't need to dodge. I don't think you're particularly strengthening anything there, right? This is uh, pretty weak here, isn't it? This is pretty weak. He could push down the flank. He could also foul that witch elf. He's got some options here. Oh. Only a push. I might have gone for the ogre blitz, honestly. Just because if it works, it's class. And if it, do you know, if it doesn't work, you've still got two guys on him. And uh, and if it works, you're three dicing him with block and mighty blow. Pretty strong. Having the ball on the thrower is a bit bad, isn't it? You'd much rather having a blodger against uh, elves. This sure looks like a foul, doesn't it? This sure looks like a foul. Oh, okay, not anymore. Because he was the cage corner. No! You can't let him uphill you. Defenseless uphill. I mean, I guess there's no block players here. So maybe you can, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Yeah, so I... Yeah, I mean, he hasn't gone for it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, as a player, Ginger Badger, but as a company, it, they're all about the IP. IP is like everything to Games Workshop, isn't it? So. Yeah, high elves are really bad. Well, I mean, there were loads of like war dancers, right? War dancers, gutter runners, you know, whites. There, there were lots of ghouls. There was lots of there was lots of things that just had what they were in the army and not and not a position. Assassins, witch elves, right? Lo loads of players, long beards, were just like units in an army. Yeah. Ah, so we're going to blitz him, and then with a power that gives him the free, the free stand up. So it saves him the two plus dodge out.
Yes, the beast men runners and stuff was really weird. Beast man runner lineman, like what the hell? Call him a beast man lineman if you must, but don't call him a runner lineman. That's so weird. That's so weird, the beast man runner lineman. <laughs> The the skinks are skinks like skink run alignment as well I think. Mm. The goat. Right, so he does have to get forward and he does have to remove. If you don't remove dark elves, you will not score basically. Right, as a bash team. Obviously, other elves can still score, but a bash team against dark elves, if you do not remove them, you will not score. That's that's what you're looking at, right? Unless your opponent makes some really, really bad dice or some really, you know, really bad mistake, you will not score unless you remove players. So he has to be trying to get this foul in and he has to be blitzing the ogre because he, he's looking at a loss if he doesn't remove players right now. doesn't I mean that's in my opinion anyway <laughs> wants to be taking space as much as possible as well like even just one square at a time I think yeah beastman team right like if you make it like when the when the uh, when Warhammer came out when Warhammer when Blood Bowl came out Warhammer just had like one chaos team whereas now it's um, it's split into like demons and chaos warriors and uh, beastmen isn't it so you could split the ex the the existing like chaos chosen team and just make it like chaos warriors plus marauders right in fact you could have like a chaos chosen and like four chaos warriors and then uh and then like chaos marauders right something like that And then you could have the corn team, the Nurgle team, the Siege team, the Slanish team that are a bit different. I don't think you can have a Jabba Slip, Dimmy. You, but you can have, you can have Centre Gores, Best of Gores, Un Gores, and Gores, yeah. I don't think you can have a Jabba Slip, Dimmy. You could have a Minnow. They liked their Minnows, didn't they? Yeah, Beast Man. Sorry, Timmy. You might as well just give a dragon to Dark Elves then. I I know. I like Garion from Soup from Soup Fumble Super League, but I felt like a lot of those teams were unnecessary. And a lot of people were like, Well, why would you say they're unnecessary? You don't have to play them and stuff, but like I would just rather they were like good teams that made sense and that's all there were like i i like minimalism and stuff like i i think you know so there was like some saying like perfection is not when more things can be added it's when nothing can be taken away that's the way i look at things i don't want i don't want a hundred teams that are all stupid like not all of them some of the some of the super league teams i really don't like only some of them. He was really relying on the ogre here, by the way. Really relying on the ogre. Gets the Kaz. Bosh, that's what he needs. He's got a crown. What a cool ogre. He's got a crown. That's great, isn't it? So pretty nice, uh, really nice cage. Uh, Dark Elves gave up the middle of the pitch here, which they really shouldn't have. And uh, yeah, he's got quite quite deep in already. He's got his two blodgers that can be like you know handoff targets or passing targets. Might get the draw here, Fez. Uh, sorry, secretly, yeah, yeah, secret league on, on Fumble, yeah. Fumble has this thing, secret league, 
where they've made like about I don't know God knows how many teams like sixty teams, and uh, it feels like fifty or sixty teams, and I feel like you know maybe there's like five or six that are pretty cool, and then five or six that are kind of all right, and then there's loads that are just like really stretching to make kind of like you know make the numbers. Up. <laughs> it might be Mrs. Fez, yeah. <laughs> it might be like that, yeah. A Hydra is bigger than a giant, yeah. Yes, it is to me. Yeah, but Royal Rainbow, I would rather there would be like there was the, yeah, I would rather Secret League was the, the, the kind of 10 that made all sense rather than 10 that made sense and like 40 stupid ones, you know? <laughs> chaos is more boring. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, I didn't really like it when they changed Chaos into into Chaos Warriors, Beast Men and Demons. I liked it when it was all a, mis a mishmash. So the moment the Dark Elves are really weak at uh, the side here, right? They're also just opening themselves up to just a deeper push down the middle as well. This is a... Uh, this isn't great for the Dells, I'll be honest with you. This isn't great for the Dells. This is not looking great for them at all. Hello, Duddums. Wait, is the Squig team the... Uh Stunty League Squig Team. Because I remember they, 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 they kind of folded Stunty League into into Secret League as well, didn't they? I played I played Stunty League when it was just Stunty League and Secret League didn't exist. And I think they've kind of... They've kind of added Stunty League to Secret League. Okay, so he tries to turn the corner. This is... This is I, I prefer just jamming down the middle again, honestly. You've already got quite a far forward. You get to take your punches here and you get to like 3D with the Ogre and just keep trying to just punch down the middle. Like you can get quite far forward already. You've still got a few more turns. I feel like just uh, just going straight forward was, was probably better. But uh, like if you could guarantee a pal here, it would still be something to do with later turn anyway, really, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I don't know. Not 100% sold on this being a great move. <laughs> it's as polite as I can be. <laughs> I think this was a bad move, in fact. And now he skulls. Dub skulls. Removes himself. And yeah, you know, if you comp if you compare this turn to just staying where he was, knocking this guy over, three dicing him with an ogre, and you know, still having a pretty solid cage, looks a lot better, doesn't it? There, there's no need to push this hard with three turns left after it, and abandoning these two guys to their fate. So I don't like this. Don't did not like that turn from Fez. I mean, if he'd powered it in the cars, I would like it a lot more, yeah. Can't lie. It, would, it looks a lot better then, doesn't it? <laughs> if only that was the case of it. Oh, my, my screen just got smaller. Does that happen to anybody else? What the hell? Oh, it was for an advert. Okay, no. There was an advert happening. No need to panic. You have to visualize that. You need to be more confident surveillance. If you are, uh, if you if you have more confidence, you'll roll better. That's uh, that's what Dimmy told me. It's 
So I kind of hate this being two squares back, right? It could just be one square back. Who's giving an extra square of advancement here? Unless you're just not dodging with these guys, or these guys are staying in front of the banks. Maybe he's going to make three deep banks, but then he can just reverse over there. So he's probably going to go to here and here, but that that's not as good as like having diagonals there, right? Like it would be better having diagonals here or something rather than these two here. These could have been diagonals here, and then these could have all been one square forward. But you've just given him a free square. You just don't need to do. I mean, the thing that uh, Go Go Bear has going for him is that Fez is <laughs> an ability, right? So <laughs> he's got problems even if he gets really forward and he can go anywhere on the last turn, you know, just because he's probably after all a 3 plus and he's going to be 89% at best to score. Probably. Looks like a wait. He hasn't. He was completely relying on the uh, on the ogre to activate there to have a cage at all. Wow, that was literally a one in twelve to lose the game. Basically, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good. This blitzer could have been stood there and everything would have been fine. So yeah, that was that was very risky. Very risky indeed from Fez. Maybe feeling the pressure a bit, but he hasn't dipped into his time bank at all. Zero bonus time use from Fez. Very quick play. That is funny to me, yeah. <laughs> Look at Torek being nice. <laughs> Everyone else is just laughing at Dimmy and Torek's like, oh. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Everyone else is just like, suck it, Dimmy. <laughs> Back over the middle here to do, hasn't he? I can't believe I can't believe how close he was to disaster with that ogre. Wow, completely reliant on the ogre activation. And not one in twenty seven as well. When there was just no need, right? Like, the, is this guy better in this square than the ogre being like there or there? Yes. But still, he was just just make it safe, you know, make it safe. It's also really good having the handoff options, like having a handoff option on either like back end. So that, you know, if this side's weak, you hand off to this guy and he, he goes to the corner. And if this side's weak, you hand off to, to that blitzer there and he goes to the corner. So I do quite like having them on the corner. Oh, let's roll the one. Uses dodge. Generous scoring, it, calling it a screen at this point. Can't see them yet. Did 
<laughs> sevens. I've never played sevens. There you go, never once in my life. I'll tell you what I have done, I've played fives. We played Blood Bowl five aside once. We played we played Blood Bowl five aside and uh, I hated it. And I think because of that is why I didn't want to uh, ever play um, sevens. So yeah, so this is this is why I said it's general is calling it a screen because it was just two D there and then two D here and get right into the corner. Like it does trap you in the corner a bit and you might have to make a rush or two this turn. And you might have to, you know, you might have to roll some dice this turn, but better roll them now and make it completely secure than, you know, have to make like crazy dice next turn, right? Knobs do fail rushes too. They're not OP. Oh. Here's one. Gets it. Oh, well, he's not making the foul, I guess because it's an uphill. I didn't like doing that, I would just kept him there. I really didn't like this. Just just keep him there, right? You like making formations with everything. Now straight away this guy come, comes there and does something that he couldn't have done if you were there. I mean yes, it's a pretty free one D, isn't it? A three plus to one DM is is just way too easy. Like he had to foul. This guy had to come here, and this guy had to foul him. Or you know, this guy went here or, or here or something. So he couldn't just one D. Yeah. I mean, you could also like put the assassin in to stab, but I mean, it's it's got to be better just three plus one D, hasn't it? Surely. Surely. Oh, Drankara. Um, this is just, just commentary. Just commentary. It's a noble thrower. He is a noble thrower. The problem with the one D direction is it's it's like I guess the so the good the thing that he's got going for him here, Fez, is that this line makes the only push here, which means that it's probably gonna be in a bad there's probably gonna be no recovery. But I still don't like that he's left a, th a three four essentially on. Oh, he runs around and hits him with block and gets a full pow. Doesn't catch it. And now he hasn't because he did it with him. He gets to pick it up with this guy. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wow, wow! He just rolls all the dice instead. Surely the best play was to, um... <laughs> was to two plus pick up the ball and stand in the corner, right? 
with the uh, with this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's looking it's looking tricky for him. Wow, he rolled all the dice this turn, go go there. So many three pluses. But you know, ultimately Fez let him, right? This this guy could have been here and he wasn't. It's the surf. I mean, the, the surf isn't easy, is it? <laughs> I mean, it made it made harder now, I guess. But... The 5 plus dodge to surf it? Oh, he's, he's pushed him. He's going to push him. No, he powered him. Okay, so he could have just pushed, right? He could have just pushed and then surfed. That that was the best play. Just push, follow, and then surf. He's rolled a full power. Is he going to push him in? Did he not want it to go in the crowd? And then he can pick it up and dodge in on a 4+. plus. <laughs> yeah, Surf, then what good point. Like, the Surf, you just hope it goes here and you're in range. You're not in range. So, yeah, I guess he was so locked down that this was the only thing he could do. So, so, so actually well played, Fez, because, yeah, if he did Surf him... Then what? Yeah, that was a good point. Good point, Calcium, and good play. But oh, okay, no, I don't think this was good play. I think he had to just pick it up and score. Because <laughs> this doesn't necessarily get the knockdown or anything. And now, what's he now? What's he doing now? Like he had the movement. Now he's got to add a 3 plus to it and a rush to it. And it, oh. Wow. Well, I can see why he did it, you know, to make it like a 3 plus and then score, but he was adding the 3 plus to it anyway, so. Well. Yeah, I think he just had to pick it up. Four, 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 right? With with a reroll on the dodge, is what he had to. And he still had a reroll, didn't he? So he, he would have had a four plus with a reroll and a four plus dodge with a reroll. So yeah, yeah, it has to be the play. So we've got what seventy five percent to seventy five, whatever that is. Just over half. Oh yeah, followed with him. But then you're doing a 1D... You've got to do it. You, you had a two plus there. You had a two plus here, and then you're still doing a four plus. Well, you probably. Well, and what if you get a both down? Then you're not in. But then that's okay. And if you get a pow, then you're making it a bit easier. But you're you're adding a three. You're adding a three, and then you're doing a th maybe doing a three, and then a three re rollable. Hmm. Hmm, not sure. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe that was that, that's what I guess that's what he was thinking, Arctic Antarctic wins. I don't I don't think he was right to think that, but I don't know. I definitely do not know whether he was right or wrong. But yeah, okay. The 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 fact that he was gonna He could have he could have got that guy down, yeah. I'm not sure if it was right or not. Bye Mrs. Fez. Don't watch the VOD. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, he, he actually might have been right, honestly, because that was a guaranteed 4 plus 4 plus. And the way he did it, he changed it to a two, pl two 2 pluses. And then a th maybe a 3 3 2, or maybe a 3 3 3, or maybe a 3 4 4, some of which have rerolls. I don't know. It, I feel like it was best just to do the 4-4, four, four, but I, I don't know, I and mean, you know, it's fair enough, like, it's a high-pressure situation, you can't expect it, exactly, yeah, exactly, Shambi, you can't, you can't realistically, like, unless you're some Rain Man type person, um, you're not going to be able to calculate that, even if you use all of your time bank, I don't think, <laughs> you're going to have to be pretty smart to calculate it, even using all of your time bank, um, so... Whichever play it was, you know, fair play. Um, he had like seven minutes, so he could have just used seven minutes of time bank. <laughs> but, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? It would have been really hard to have just done it on the fly anyway. Plus, like, you're in. But, I mean, I think he should have calculated it. I mean, I think, yeah, I think he should have calculated it. I think he should have calculated it. But he might, maybe he did, maybe, maybe he did, and, and it was better. Um, but, you know, probably most of us would just go the 75 and the 75, yeah. Probably most of us would have done that, I think. But, you know, who, who knows, who knows. And, uh, but yeah, congratulations, go, go, be. Commiserations, Fez. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.